Hello everyone and welcome to another tarot reading and yes I'm back this Sunday afternoon. I was only going to do one reading that was on Prince Harry and this idea that he might be spending six months in the UK and six months in the US uh, in the coming years and that reading I have uploaded and as I was uploading it I suddenly thought I need to do a reading on Archie which is why I have the Radiant Wise Spirit tarot deck on the tarot table. I had put everything away, switched the light off and suddenly thought no it's time to do a reading on him. Very troubling uh, to me as a tarot reader and as a human being not to, to see Archie on his birthday, not to see him over the Jubilee weekend, not to hear a word about him. Vague mentions of Charles being so delighted to see Archie again. Uh, vague, vague idea that he was there over the Jubilee weekend, though lots of people say there was no sign of either child at the airport and the planes and the cars going to and fro all very mysterious and so mysterious and such a legal minefield that I need to point you immediately to the disclaimer in the description box below and remind you that this is a tarot reading for entertainment purposes and this is all just my opinion. But the tarot reading that I did on Archie's third birthday a few months ago, uh, reading number 402402 if you want to go and look at it, was quite a disturbing reading. It ended with the death card not a card that one likes to see when you're reading on a three-year-old's birthday of course means dramatic change ending of something doesn't necessarily literally mean death um tricky topic disturbing topic uh but anyway i feel called to do it i felt called to use just the normal rider weight for this reading not one of the novelty decks that I like to use on this channel just to shake things up and get different energy into the readings. Here we go. Um, Radiant Wise Spirit five card reading. We're going to find out where he is, how he is first, how he is, where he is, uh, why we haven't seen him, why we didn't see him on his birthday, why we didn't see him at the Jubilee uh, celebrations over that weekend in June and what's, what's next? What is going to be going on next with Archie? What are we going to hear, see, what is going to happen in the coming months, weeks, months, uh, whatever universe wants to share with us, tell us. And um, there we go, there's the five cards and another unhappy card coming out at the bottom of this reading. Uh, under underlying energy of this reading, we got the six of cups in reverse. Children card, happy children playing in this uh, depiction of the Six of Cups, the standard right away depiction. Innocence, childhood, friends, happy times, happy memories, making you those happy memories that you look back on as life goes on and those were the good old days. That's the Six of Cups, it's the good old days, but it is in reverse. There is something very disturbing going on with this child, very disturbing. I've got terrible energy, I've got terrible sort of chills and shivers as I say that and I don't want to be melodramatic, I try not to be melodramatic on this channel but the energy is terrible, the energy off of that Six of Cups energy card in reverse is absolutely terrible. So let's see what signify, what's the heart of the matter, what is going on according to universe and another unhappy card the four of wands in reverse this is a broken home card the four of wands is happy family card one of the happy family cards it's usually the marriage card it's a stable home because fours are about stability four of wands in the upright is uh, the home being a safe environment, a stable environment, celebration, of, often a celebration of a wedding. There you can see the happy couple celebrating, you can see the castle in the background, um, everything. It's a very positive card when it's upright. It is one of the royal family cards as well, the four of wands, because it is about a foundation, an institution. But the card is in the reverse. It tells me that there is a breakup in the home, there is trouble in the home. Um, the home itself could be at risk, uh, mortgage not paid, but there could be a broken home, there could be a, a split between the parents, there could also be um, trouble with the royal family and I have done a reading very recently on Prince William and these very mysterious children of Harry and Meghan's and the rumour that he wants proof that they actually are proof almost of life, proof, birth certificates, doctors, um, 
uh, records, that kind of thing, DNA even. Um, there's a lot of scrutiny now coming from the royal family into the mystery surrounding Archie and Lilibet. And uh, it is all extremely disturbing. And these children are, I think, for me personally, the reason that I am so um, st uh, mesmerized by the story that if there really is some kind of skullduggery going on with them, it's, it's, it's outrageous almost. It's beyond belief that a couple can pull uh, this level of hoax um, off on the royal family and on the general public if this is what is going on and it is all rumour these are all allegations this is pure speculation and again pointing at the disclaimer in the box below uh, I'm going to have to pause to let the dog out and I'm back I let one out got another one in I've got Tess now um, but let's see how is he how is he in himself um, we've got the seven of swords is a trickery card lying cheating thieving stealing card and it is not a good card it's not a good card there is something going on there is some deception going on around this child um, I have to say that in this reading, I have signified that card to be the how is he card. But every time, and I've written it down, I always, for those of you who are new to my channel, I always write my questions down. I always contemplate before I do the reading. I meditate, I think. I literally write each question down so that I know exactly what each card signifies. But for some reason, I keep swapping these two cards around in my head. This is the how is he? This is the where is he card? But this could be an answer to where is he? Just by the way. Um, so um, both, both energies. If, if this is the how is he answer, there is something very strange going on. Something very, uh, I want to say criminal, illegal going on. Something very difficult going on. The Seven of Swords is one of the worst cards in the tarot deck, in my opinion. It is a card of deception, a card of ghosting, of leaving, of running away, of hiding, of cowardice, of taking what is not yours. Put that in a health context and there is something negative going on. We are not being told the truth about something very, very negative. And he, in fact, he could have been removed. Hence the idea that this could be an answer as well to where is he? He could have been removed. Tarot reading for entertainment purposes. This is pure speculation. Let's see the answer to the where is he card, which could also be the how is he card. And the dog is shouting again. He's not with them. Ten of uh, pentacles in reverse. He is not with them. He just isn't. The ten of pentacles is the um, generations together in the home you can see there's the young couple you can see there is the older person the dogs the castle um, the trees its institution its permanence its togetherness is it's the future this is the past the six of cups this is the future the ten of pentacles when it's upright this is what we're building it's about building a legacy this is um, down the line from generation to generation this is where someone belongs he isn't in that it's very much a royal family card we've got two royal family cards now that have popped up here minor arcana versions of royal family cards that i as a reader use and they're both in the reverse he's been kicked out either of the royal family prince william or he has been removed from the home and that's a very serious statement to make in a tarot reading for entertainment purposes. Very serious. Um, okay, um, get myself to myself. And let's move on. Uh, why are we not seeing him? Well, it's very clear that we're not seeing him because he's not there. Something very serious is going on with him and he is not there. But let's see what universe has to add. To this to really answer that question but what does universe want to add to this why haven't we seen him and we get the justice card in reverse 
And these readings on Archie just get worse and worse. And I have to point out yet again, these are just tarot readings. And the Justice card in reverse means there's some form of legal proceeding going on, possibly to do with Archie, to do with custody, to do with care, maybe care proceedings, care orders. Uh, but also the Justice card in reverse and the Seven of Swords tell me that there is something that's illegal that's been going on, something that is not on the, um, uh, it is not as it should be, um, very simply, that there has been something going on with this child that is not uh, what we have been told. What we have been told is not true. There is something going on behind the scenes with this child that is very dodgy, very dodgy. And it seems like it is uh, unraveling. It's coming out. It's been exposed. It's been investigated. Um, okay, last card of this reading. What's next? What are we going to hear next? What is going to happen next with Archie, the child known as Archie? Three of Wands in reverse. Uh, three of Wands is a waiting card and we have all been waiting. We've been waiting to see what's going on. This person in the Three of Wands is literally waiting for their ships to come back uh, laden with goodies. Uh, it means expansion, growth, success, ventures. Um, ventures doing very well but when the card is in the reverse something is not growing, it's not expanding, it is not going well. Um, it could, and I just have to put it here, it could mean that there are developmental issues with the child known as Archie. That something is literally wrong with him at some level because it is about growth, natural growth and expansion. And it's three. We have three ones and he is three. He is not developing according to plan, according to schedule. Uh, he's not um, reaching those milestones that he should be reaching. Um, something, something, something going on here that is very, very tricky with this child um, and that may involve authorities and care and all kinds of trouble, all kinds of trouble, trouble that is mind boggling uh, according to these cards and I have to yet again and I know it's extremely tedious but I have to say yet again Disclaimer in the box below, this is a tarot reading for entertainment purposes. This is all speculation. This is all just my opinion. Those are the cards. That is the reading. Thank you for watching and I will hopefully see you tomorrow.